when uh, the Boston Bruins won the Stanley Cup for the first time in 39 years, being able to have, get the championship copy of the paper was always fascinating because you could just relive a part of history, a part that meant so much, especially with their series and how they did that year. It was just remarkable to see history unfold right before your eyes and be able to share that part of history with the public and just feel good about you know the triumphs that your city and your region has accomplished. The one I remember like uh, over the course of me working here, like experiencing like the, the current events, like as they were happening, but also being able to like live it out, like especially with uh, the death of Ed, Senator Ted Kennedy, being able to hear about it and then read it in the paper and the tributes that followed, including his funeral was uh, interesting to just experience history and actually be putting it out to the, to the public in hard copy, which was always uh, an interesting experience for me and everyone. When you, when you work in these presses, you tend to understand colors a lot more than, than, you know, someone will pick up a paper and look, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. We work all night to put out a newspaper that, that's really nice looking and whatnot, and sometimes it ends up on the floor for, for a dog to, or in a bird cage for whatever, you know, but it's, it, it pays the bill, so that's, that's a good part of it.
feel as if print is dying just because of the instant availability of news and the public's desire for having media available instantly. A majority of news now you can access through smartphones, internet, um, multiple formats, and being that everything, the internet has made everything just absolutely instantaneous. But the, the desire for print, as in terms of a novelty, is still around, especially when it comes to reading your daily newspaper on your daily commute, or if you're just sitting at a coffee shop and wanting to know what's going on. A newspaper and newsprint is still good for that. But in this day and age, as technology becomes much more cheaper, I just feel as if it's becoming less viable to print massive amounts of paper. And most companies are consolidating their operations so that they can work around and just cut costs and expenditures for their businesses to stay profitable in this day and age. Thank you.